Hi people from the YouTube world. I'm making this video in response to Pete WDH Cole, if that's who pronounced his name. Um I in in response to his video about the the, uh, the blue planet in the sky uh, just uh, just about sunset. Now, I take photos every night of the sunset as a little gallery of uh, my own. As I started noticing a couple of years ago, the sunset started to change. The, the position of the sunset started to change. Last year, the sun was setting um, over the Pentland Hills. If you can look at the picture at the bottom right hand side, the big tall lamppost light is in the school playground, and just to the right and behind of that is the Pentland Hills um, up in Scotland. Uh, now, from my direction, I'm in the east of Edinburgh. Um, and the Pentland Hills are west, west from me. So the sun is always set behind the Pentland Hills from the six years I've lived here, apart from the last year. Two years ago, the sun started setting um, a, a little bit randomly or, you know, random places, different nights. But then last, this year, this summer, the sun's actually been setting directly northwest. I uh, checked this with Noah as my street on the NOAA map points directly northwest, which is from you from the the view you're looking at now towards the the Pentland Hills, is a complete 45 degree turn to your right. It's where the sun was setting during the summer, and then now last night it's set um, to the left of that big lamp post, kind of behind the school, um, which is is far too southwest. In comparison to the west, the northwest, it's been setting. I think it's supposed to be a 23 variation of degree from 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 west, from the different equinoxes. So it'll be maybe you know, um, 11 degrees west, um, 11 degrees north north of west, and 11 degrees south of west. It's supposed to move, but what it's doing is going north exactly northwest. This year, the first time in my life, I saw the sun in my front garden in the evening. We only get the sun in the morning as it rises above the rooftops. We don't get it in the evening because, as you can see, it's in my back garden, not the front garden. Um, my house is, as you know, um, perpendicular. Well, you know, I'm standing at my back door basically, um, and the street is is horizontal to my back. As in, if you're f looking forward, to be vertical. Anyway, you know what I'm getting at. So, for the first time ever, I was facing northwest. It's when I took photos of the sunset. So this has intrigued me and for my own morbid curiosity and for what's going on here because I do feel something very different is going on and you'll know from the rest of my videos what exactly I think that is. So I took this, this these pictures um, and I just thought I'd look through my collection after seeing this video to see if I if I've ever spotted anything like this in the sky. Now I found one picture, quite often the, the chemtrail the hell at the skies every night and we don't get to see sunsets. Hardly ever in Scotland do you see a sunset. You just get um, contrails that, that spend 20 minutes puffing up into a big cloud and then become this cloud all by itself and cover the sunset completely. So I went through and I found this picture to the right here. Of the sun is, is not long set, it's it's going down. You can see the, the, the light on the horizon um, is not very bright. The sun's definitely setting. It's about five o'clock, I think, or maybe four. Maybe four. It's, it's not even that late because it's getting pitch black by five o'clock these days. And this object that you see, I've circled. I had to put a little black circle around it so that I could actually spot it. Now you can see on the left is the blue that Pete has got on his film here, and you can see the angle above the sun where it is. Well, mine would probably be, you know, the same. You know, the sun looks like it's kind of. It's lit up kind of down here. The sun, it set there last night. It was there at half four last night. So it moves below where you can see it. And it's about here, the sunset. You can see the orangey kind of glow. It's roughly here. It's gone down too far now. But you can see it's kind of the same angle. Now, I'm not saying it's the same object. I'm just saying that when I did look, I was like, that is a little bit curious because it is actually in the right place. And I'll show you what it is that I'm talking about, if you can see the black dot there, um, it's a white object. Now I'm very aware of pixelation in hot pixels in a camera. 
and I do test this on my camera that I take a photo with the lens cap on and it doesn't show up any hot pixels and none of the rest of my photos apart from what you can see slight you know slight discoloration slight pixelation there with the variance but nothing quite as bright as this oh you see I had to draw the black line because it's it's really hard to find um but this is definitely a light source and it has what looks looks like it's like a dark 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 circle circle around 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 it now I know I know I know I I've edited this by putting putting a black black circle around it. Okay, I haven't haven't as promised done any dye. Why would I do it so so small? Anyway, I'd make it a little bit more exciting and maybe a bit blue. But I was, I just thought it was interesting that this object is kind of in the same place in comparison to the sunset. Is the one Pete's got? You know, the sunset being down here. So, I don't know, maybe you have other ideas about what this is. I found it very inter interesting. I do take a lot of nighttime photos and I do catch a lot of strange anomalies at night, light sources, and I do know as well that it can be catching moths flying past insects that, that light up. But I just think this is quite an interesting picture because it's definitely a light source. Now, maybe I've caught a UFO, something exciting. I don't, I don't know, it could be a bird in flight that's reflecting the sun, even though the sun's just about going you know you can decide for yourself you can totally dismiss this but I'm just you know adding more fuel to this inferno throwing rocks at the the landslide you know um, just give me your thoughts on what you think I just thought I would add it out there though to give it a little bit more credibility to to Pete's video if Pete's video is indeed accurate and true so anyway, there you go. Um, much love to all. I'd love to hear your comments, positive if possible, but I don't care. I've no ego, so bash on if you must. Just makes me giggle, actually. But anyway, say what you will. Um, love to all. Bye from Scotland.